we have any given moment 100 to 300,000 US domestic minors, our own kids, sold for sex. Unfortunately, at the time of Sarah Cruzan's trial, no one had even heard of human trafficking. And, and this right. is the piece of the puzzle that <clears throat> adds to what you were building on in the previous segment. We've all heard now about the, the very, very difficult upbringing that she had. What we didn't really talk about is her experience as a sex slave. Basically, a child is being tortured and raped and beaten and terrified. They have no freedom of movement. She said the first night she was on the street that she had encounters with 11 different men at age 13. You know, the problem is the pimps do this terrible parody of care where they take a leadership role in the, in the minor's life and they act like they are protecting them. And we need to make sure people understand this doesn't just happen to other people's children. If your kid gets upset and says, well, I'm going to run away. Yeah, I think the, it's some, <clears throat> some staggering statistic, like f within 48 hours, 80% of runaways right. are propositioned for, for sex. Right. Now, California State Senator Leland Yee says Sarah deserves a second chance. Uh, he is the author of Senate Bill 9, which recognizes young people have the capacity to change. Senator, thank you for being here. Thank I really appreciate it. <laughs> Talk about this bill a little bit. Well, this bill basically now will give um, children uh, who've been uh, incarcerated uh, for the rest of their life without the possibility of parole a second chance. Uh, I authored a bill. The governor signed that bill. And now in the state of California, uh, we're going to give these kids a second chance. And mainly because of the work that you know, Dr. Phil and uh, others in psychology have done that demonstrates that kids' brains are just absolutely developing at that particular time. And so kids' behavior cannot be used to predict what they'll do as an adult. And so what we're saying is that let's give them an opportunity to petition after they're in prison with that particular life sentence a second chance by uh, appealing to the court that uh, sentenced them to demonstrate that, in fact, they've, they've uh, uh, gotten their GED, uh, accepted responsibility, been rehabilitated, let the court decide whether or not these youngsters should, in fact, be given a second chance. Why did this become so important to you? Why are you so passionate about this? To look into the eyes of someone who has been treated like an object or, or lower, lower than a beaten animal just for the love of money and turned into, you know, an other in the, in the eyes of the trafficker. And to understand that this business is, is, is using humans as the, as the product and then to understand that especially in this kind of a case, that children are being used as a sexual product. A as a mother, having looked in the face of, of, of little ones and teenagers who have been through this, it's just unbelievably brutal and upsetting.